God bless each one of you. Today we're going to talk about standing for the truth and to not be ashamed. We're going to read 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13, all the way to verse 17. Reading, in the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. But we ought always to thank God for you, brothers and sisters, loved by the Lord, because God chose you as first fruits to be saved through the sanctifying work of the Spirit, through belief in the truth. He called you to this through our gospel, that you might share in the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the teachings we pass on to you, whether by word of mouth or by letter. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us by his grace, gave us eternal encouragement and good hope, encourage your hearts and strengthen you in every good deed and word. Brothers and sisters, so, um, what these people are here saying is to stand firm in the truth, to stand firm in the gospel of Jesus Christ, the one who died on the cross for each and one of us, showed us how to live, the one who made the way for each and one of us by dying on the cross for each and one of us, rose from the grave three days later, and today living and coming back to pick up his church. We believe in the truth of the gospel, and we also believe by spreading the word to many others. Now, there's a point when we spread the gospel or we talk to people about Jesus Christ that they will mock us, that they will reject us because we believe in the very word of Jesus Christ. Now, a lot of people have been, you know, um, you know, uh, rejected. They have been mocked. And, you know, it first happened to Jesus. And Jesus said, if the world hates you, don't, you know, be surprised because the world first hated me. And we and the world hates us because the world first hated Jesus Christ. And that says in the word that we love because he first loved us. So, you know, some things that we should do, brothers and sisters, because this doesn't only happen to grown ups, this doesn't happen only to kids, this happens to every believer. You see, earlier this year, uh we were going to school and everything, you know, we were doing offline before. Uh and, you know, I used to be, um, I used to be mocked. I used to be mocked for standing up the truth of the gospel. For example, I think on probably like on some of the first days of school, um, I was being mocked out, uh, you know, they saw me reading the Bible and, uh, I was, and they would ask me, do you believe in God? They, they would laugh. Like, uh, there was this one kid, right? And he was saying, you believe in God? You believe in the gospel? And I was like, yeah, I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in the gospel. He was still laughing at me, and I didn't really take it to heart, but I'm like, God, please have mercy, because, you know, they don't know what they're doing, you know, the gospel is a great message, the gospel, you know, like, Christ died for us, you know, so, you know, laughing at that, you know, like, it didn't really, like, discourage me, but it was like, you know, they don't know what they're actually laughing at, you know, they're laughing at the greatest news for mankind ever. And there was other times that, you know, I would say, you know, God bless to the classroom and they will start laughing because I'm mentioning God's name. So, you know, I, I, I know what it's like to be mocked for believing and standing for the truth. But brothers and sisters, this happened to, this probably happens to all, all of us, really. And, you know, the world first hated Christ, so the world will hate us. But brothers and sisters, some things that we could do is just remember that. The promises God has for us, that he's going to protect us, that he's caring for us. Um, other things like just believe the truth. Believe the truth, and no matter who bullies you, no matter who says you're crazy, no matter what, keep believing in the truth. Stay firm in the truth, brothers and sisters. Also, um, remember the gospel is the good news of jesus remember what the gospel is remember what you're believing in what you're standing firm in that the good news of jesus death and you know death burial and resurrection 
that we are right now living because of the very mercy and grace of God. Remember the truth of the gospel, brothers and sisters. And no matter who bullies you, no matter who mocks you, no matter what happens, that remember that at the end of the day, it's not them who's saving you. It's not them who saved you or who, them who made the way for you. It was Christ Jesus who died for you on the cross. It was Christ Jesus who loves you. It's Christ Jesus who protects us from all evil. Now, Jesus says this. It's not that, um, like Jesus said, our life ain't going to be um, easy. He did say he was going to be with us on every step. So when someone does bully you or mock you, don't be like, wow, Christ, I thought you were going to protect. No, these are things that we got to go through to build our faith and, you know, our trust in God. And, you know, no matter what happens, brothers and sisters, stay firm in the truth. Stay firm in the faith because Christ Jesus, he died for you and he loves you and he's the one who is, who made the way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Only through him we can come to the Father. Only through him we receive eternal life through Christ Jesus. So, brothers and sisters, stand firm because you're in the way of God. You're in the way Christ Jesus um Pay the price for each one of us. Like we're in the road of God. So stay firm because you're in the kingdom of Jesus Christ. So he got you and he got you in his hands. Keep believing. Keep seeking the Lord. Keep seeking the Lord's presence. And just believe in Christ Jesus. And remember to be praying, reading the word daily. And having a relationship with the Lord. God bless each one of you. And remember, Jesus loves you.